Hey, my name is Dan. Welcome to my shop. This is where I build, maintain, and sometimes repair my model airplane fleet. Today we are working on the Rebel, but I'm going to take a little bit of a break with it today as I'm letting the top end of the uh, fiberglass from the center section of the wing that we started in the last episode is now curing and sitting there. Today I want to talk about something else and has, oh geez. <laughs> Yeah, this bag is not as tough as it looked. <laughs> Who keeps an engine in a shopping bag anyway, right? Okay, so this is the engine that is going to be going on the front end of this plane. This is a US-41. It's also known as a Quadra 35 or a Quadra 41 or a Quadra 33. Yeah, I know. It's a, a engine of many different identities. However, they're all about the same exactly uh, when it comes down to the measurements of it. I think that different engine manufacturers like to uh, kind of make the numbers sound bigger so you'll buy it. If you're thinking you're buying a 42cc engine instead of a 41cc engine, I don't know. I don't understand the marketing behind them. Personally, I think they're all made in the same factory in China. It just, some of them end up in weed whackers and some of them end up with gear on them to hold a propeller. So this is a, like I said, this is US 41. That's a noisy little piece. And uh, it's gonna be the one that is gonna be on my airplane. Uh, this one just came back from the small engine repair shop because uh, I decided I wanted to have a different muffler put on the back there. This is a muffler that came from a company that marketed this as being specifically to fit this engine block. And it came with specifically sized bolts to hold everything in. And I specifically put them in there. But the threads were not specifically the same size as the threads that were in the engine block. So I ended up stripping the ones that were in the engine block. So I had to take it to a friend of mine at the uh, one of our local small engine gurus and he was able to re-thread the screw threads back into the uh, main engine block and also get me the proper length of screw that I needed with the original uh, threads that are back in the engine block. And like I said before, these are all pretty much about the same. This is a two cycle engine. Uh, comes out of a uh, weed whacker or it would have been manufactured for a weed whacker and uh, They put on some other parts. They put on this mount on the back and they also put on this special hub here Now this is the original flywheel that comes off of the one that was manufactured if it were to go anywhere else And so that's still on here And um, I don't know these are the kind of engines that I like buying. I like the ones that have been uh, basically repurposed for our use Here's the carburetor on here. And the last thing that uh, my buddy Mark and I did was we replaced the uh, diaphragm that's in there. That's a part that does tend to wear out after time. This one doesn't have much run time on them, but if they sit on the shelves after uh, having gasoline run through their systems, the diaphragms tend to get damaged over time. They kind of get loose and they don't. The, the diaphragm is a, a piece of rubber located inside of this uh, carburetor that's job is to pump the fuel and uh, also the, get it so that it's the proper mixture uh, to keep the engine running. And the thing that I noticed when I knew it was going bad was that uh, it wasn't providing the suction when it's pumping it out of the tank and into the engine. It wasn't providing the suction to keep it there so that when the engine was stopped, you would see it would pull it all the way back into the fuel tank. If this diaphragm is in good shape, it holds the fuel into the fuel line and everything's fine. But that wasn't going on, so it's it's a fairly cheap thing to replace. You can buy a kit often for these. I think it was like uh, six bucks. wasn't a whole lot. But putting that diaphragm in here really fixed it up, so it should run much better now, much more consistently. Uh, this one is 41 cc's, which is a little bit big for this engine. I had a, a conversation via email with uh, Ryan Gonsolin. He's the one who created this airplane that we're building. And he said that he thought that this engine would be a little bit too much too heavy on the front end. But the thing that I find about these engines are is, especially when they're all right about the same size, which is about 2.35 inches, cubic inches, or 41 to 40, 35 to 41 cc, depending on how you interpret the depth of the bore, I guess. 
Um, the thing that I've kind of found out is they all tend to have about the same power. They all kind of weigh about the same unless you do some serious weight reduction to them like you could take and cut some of these fins off of here or uh, you could do other things. I'll tell you one thing that I'm going to do with this one here to lighten it up is there is a spring starter in the back of this cup here. Now the spring starter is designed so that if you want to start this engine, you can go ahead and, and pull fuel into the carburetor, you know, running the, pushing the prop through until it fills up the carburetor here with fuel that is atomized and ready to go. And then what you do is the spring, if you try to rotate the crankshaft backward, the spring catches and grabs onto it. And then you pull it backward so far and you let go of the prop and it will pull it through. It'll pull the magnets through this magneto here. Um, it will spin this thing through at the right speed to fire up the engine. And that's the idea behind it. I don't like using this spring starter because I've had some bad, uh, some bad occurrences with them. You pull back the propeller and I found that sometimes if you're not sending in exactly the right spot, that other propeller comes back around once you let go of that spring and smacks your fingertip like you wouldn't believe it hurts and I really don't like that and it's it's one of those kind of things where once you're thinking about it you, you can get ahead of it and, and not let it uh, do anything to you however there's some of those times when you're distracted or you're thinking about something or you're up at the starting line of a big meet and you've got to get the plane going and your mind isn't you know as sharp as it because you're concentrating on other things besides getting that engine going when that happens you can hurt your finger I don't want to deal with that. So we use a starter when we go to start our airplane engines, and that's just simply putting a big starter up on the front end of it, which will push the prop through. Once it gets going, we pull the starter off. Everybody's happy, and that's pretty much the way it's going to work. The other part about having the spring starter in their back in the back here is it is actually made of a piece of spring steel, and it's pretty heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this thing uh, before it gets mounted on the airplane, and everything should be fine. It should lighten it up a little bit in the front end. But uh, the other thing that I suppose I could do if I really wanted to lighten this engine up is take this magneto off and convert this front end, the hub and everything to a solid state electronic type engine. And those are getting to be pretty popular now. The only thing I don't like about that concept is I really wanted this plane to be simple. And by taking that and putting another system into it, I mean, when you think about it, when you have an airplane, You've got a fuel system. You've got a radio system that has a battery hooked to it, plus all the wiring that goes out in every direction. You have different kinds of push and pull rods that are motivating the services to go. And, you know, this just adds yet another battery and another thing that needs to be monitored. And I just wanted this plane to be extremely simple. I wanted to have a magneto type engine on it because they're reliable once you get them started. They're a little more difficult to start, but you know, we've got the starter to do that. And uh, I just, uh, I just wanted to try to keep this as simple and as easy of a plane to just, you know, anytime you're ready to go, pick it up and run. And uh, so by not having a get another battery to make sure it was charged would be very helpful to me. So when it all comes down to it, at the end of the day, this is just a basic two cycle gasoline weed whacker slash leaf blower type of motor. It's been modified and this is what we're going to be putting in the front end of the uh, airplane to power us around. And if you think about it, it's, it's kind of a give and take. These are a fine, easy, simple design. They're mass produced, so they're not super expensive unless you're looking for an upper line uh, brand like uh, say a desert aircraft where they basically are re remolding the whole engine and they're making it specifically for use. And they're a beautiful engine, but it's a lot more expensive and I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money. I actually bought this one used. I think I got it off eBay or something like that. Uh, the owner had bought it, maybe ran it one time, put it back in its box and didn't have any use for it. So that's a great, you know, we got a great deal on it as a result of that. But if you think about it, it's kind of neat because you've got an engine here that was going to be originally probably slated for a, you know, if you, if you want to feel like, if you want a feel good situation out of this, you say, well, this engine would have been put into a weed whacker, which would have had a cowling all over around, all around it. It would have been exposed to a lot of hotter air 
currents because it would have been inside this cowl, wouldn't have been able to breathe very well. And uh, it would have been in a very dirty environment, especially if it's a weed whacker or a leaf blower, you know, it's constantly exposed to dirt and all that kind of stuff. And look at the life you're gonna give it. You're gonna take this engine and put it on an airplane where it's gonna be exposed to a great stream of nice cool air running through its cowl all the time. And you know, as long as you don't smash it into the ground, it's gonna have a great life. Yeah, but these uh, type of engines are rated in the thousands for hours of, of uh, serviceable use before you need to really start replacing parts. That's another benefit of it. And they're fairly inexpensive if you're kind of looking around or uh, want to compare it to say a brand new, uh, oh geez, I always think of those three cylinder uh, engines, radials. Holy cow, you want to talk about money spent. These uh, look pretty good for that kind of a thing. So this is a good, simple engine and it's gonna do its job well. And uh, if you're new to the channel here, um, please feel free to subscribe. We would love to have a few more subscribers. Right now we've, we've only got about 26, I think. And uh, I would like to really build up this channel of people who are interested in model airplanes and flying. And if you have questions about the hobby, this is the place, so subscribe and then uh, ring the bell. That way you'll be notified every time that I make a new video. And I'm trying to make them about every week right now. And uh, it's, uh, it, we'd love to have you aboard. Also, if you have questions about the airplane we're building or about modeling in general, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if I see your question, I will answer it if I find it, if I see it. If I see the question, I will answer it. I'll do my best to answer it. Yeah, that's about it. So until next time, uh, I know this was kind of a short video, but you know, some of them are gonna be like that. Next time uh, we'll have other things to talk about. I'll see you then. Hey, my name is Dan, welcome to my shop. And today I'm looking at the screen instead of where I should be looking. Hey, this is Dan, welcome. <laughs> that is rough. Okay. There's like one piece of dust flying right in front of my eyeball. Very distracting. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're no help.